Hello, thank you for taking time out. This video is on the Nakshat of Furva Falgani. Furva Falgani falls entirely in the sign of Leo, and as per mythology, it's ruled by Lord Bhaga. Lord Bhaga is behind good fortune. As usual, I'm going to be sharing the mythology linked to Lord Bhaga first. And in the second half, I'll be sharing how different planets behave in Purva Falcony. It's a very interesting nakshatra, so let's begin. Lord Bhaga is similar to goddess Fortuna, or another goddess as per Greek mythology behind good luck. So with this alone, I hope you get the sense what this nakshatra is all about. Anything that takes place in our life, which we feel, oh, I had good luck at that time. Getting a great job. I applied at a certain time. There was a vacancy. They were looking for someone similar to my profile and I got through. It can be an opportunity to travel. I had no intention of traveling, but suddenly this opportunity came and I got the opportunity to visit. It was my good fortune to have travelled to this city, to this country, as we say. Startup owners, when they get access to funds, seed investment, startup owners know how difficult it is to run a business without having access to funds. They give up their jobs and they say suddenly, out of nowhere, due to good luck, we found an investor. Such instances in our life, I believe Lord Baga is behind it. He's known to bestow wealth, good fortune on us more than any other god. As per mythology, he's not known to have eyesight and therefore when he gives, he gives in abundance. He's not keeping an eye how much you are receiving, hence the term blind fortune. The ones working in stock markets, suddenly they make an investment and there's a windfall gain. You win a lottery, for example, the ones raising funds for a charitable cause, suddenly a big investor funds your charity, feels inspired by your cause, I believe Lord Parker can be behind that. Some individuals have the good fortune of inheriting money from their family. So gaining something significantly, suddenly, in abundance, I believe is linked to Lord Parker and therefore to this nakshatra. This good luck can also be applied to our personal life. Some people say, I am very lucky to have found my life partner. Lord Paga is behind it in my view. As per mythology, one of the main symbols of Purva Falcony is the front legs of a bed made for newly married couples. So at the beginning, when we are in that phase of life where we start a relationship, Everything is exciting. We look forward to meeting each other. We then get married. We go for our honeymoon. So from dating till the phase of honeymoon, I believe it's directly linked to Purva Falcony. So from dating apps to honeymoon packages are directly linked to this nakshatra. And to extend this phase to the time we become a father or a mother. Purva Falcony is directly linked to childbirth. Lord Paga is worshipped for good luck in finding a good life partner and also for good luck to be a parent. I have seen charts which have an inclination towards the healthcare sector. If those charts also have a strong Purva Falcony's influence, the person might have a career 
in healthcare related to childbirth. Fulvofolgony is ruled by Venus and due to the giving nature on a material plane of Lord Parga, this nakshatra is a lot about seeking fun and pleasure from life. We go to a fun park, we attend a music festival, we go to the cinema, we rejuvenate ourselves in a spa center, we go to a nightclub, all such places where we have this illusion, I'd say, that we are having fun, are directly linked to Purva Falcony and related careers too. So if you have, for example, Saturn in Purva Falcony linked to your career, you might be working as a gatekeeper in a fun park, just to give you an example. Or if you have Mars in Purva Falcony, you can be a massage therapist. Venus is linked directly to money and Purva Falcony, due to Lord Parker's rulership, is about good fortune. And therefore, together, this leads directly to careers in stock markets. And I'd like to give you a great example right away. Warren Buffett has Sun in his chart in Purva Falcony. He's a great example. Now all fun and pleasure related activities linked to Purva Falcony justify its classification as belonging to the guna, the quality of rajasic. Achieving things in the world on a material plane is directly linked to Purva Falcony. And it won't be any surprise to you that this nakshatra has the gana, the temperament belonging to a human being. As human beings, we all seek pleasure from life. We feel, if I attend that music festival, or later if I watch that movie, or see that drama, or attend opera, or visit that city, that destination, we'll have fun. We seek such pleasure, which justifies this classification. Basic human tendency is that we don't value what we get without hard work. And therefore, even though the native can be very lucky, the person can fall prey to unnecessary spending. The person can also become excessively vain it's reminding me of a research I heard of on lottery prize winners where they were after several years of winning the lottery and their state mental and financial state more importantly was similar to the one they had before winning the lottery. They either spent all of it or did not derive any pleasure, any fun from it after a few years. Venus signifies everything creative. The person can then therefore have a background in art of any kind. The expression of art can be in the form of writing or in the form of music or any other form of design. I'd like to give you two great examples right away. JK Rowling has her Venus in this nakshatra. She's a writer. Every time you are analyzing a writing career, you must analyze where Mercury is placed. And in her chart, Mercury was in marker. I have already posted my views on Mercury in marker. See if you can relate to my views and her background. The second example is of Louis Armstrong, the musician. He also has Venus in Purva Falcony. Through these examples, I'm trying to highlight the creative ability you might have if you have Venus in Purva Falcony. Venus is considered to be the planetary form of Lord Shukracharya, and if we go as per mythology, Lord Shukracharya is known to be the teacher, the guide to the ones who are opposing godly forces. Lord Shukracharya is the teacher and therefore 
This justifies the classification of Purvafalgani as belonging to the caste of a Brahman. Purvafalgani's planetary ruler is Venus. Venus is the divine form of Lord Chukracharya. This hopefully helps you understand the reason behind this classification. This leads to the native being very knowledgeable. So if the person has a career in art, the person can be an art director. Or earlier I had mentioned, the person can excel in stock markets where you need a bit of luck. If you're also well informed, you'll make the right choices. Here, the native might learn how to invest money, the art of investing. And I'd like to give you a great example here too. Masa UC Son, the Korean Japanese investor, his company goes by the name SoftBank. In the Indian startup ecosystem, he was very popular, his company rather, was very popular a few years ago. They were investing big in many big startups. He has Mercury and Venus in his chart in Purva Falgani. He has, in my view, the art of investing. This can also be applied to industries linked to the media and the entertainment sector. Venus signifies that. And if we combine it with Purva Falgani's classification as belonging to the caste of a Brahmin, the person can make an excellent art director or can have a career in advertising. Advertising is not only about creativity, it's about storytelling, it's about understanding how consumers think. So art of investing, art of advertising, art of journalism, art of storytelling, all of them in my view are also linked to Purva Falgani. I had earlier spoken about the person falling prey to vanity as the person naturally is gifted and that is seen in my view to some extent in the life of Kim Kardashian. She also has Venus in Purva Falgani in the 10th house related to her public life. That in my view is behind her good looks. She has a very strong social media presence and that is symbolic of her falling prey to vanity. She is an example too that I wanted to share. And lastly, this nakshatra has the nature belonging to Ugra, which translates to fierce. This nakshatra is a lot about having that passion for life. Some people say, I really, really want to see the northern lights. I really, really want to climb that mountain range. I really, really, really want to surf in Bali. I really want to attend that music concert. The passion for life is very strong. And this Ugra nature can also translate to the person being very risk-taking in life, which you need to be. If, for example, you're building your career in stock markets, you need to have that risk-taking ability. And the good news is, since your risks pay off, you become more and more accustomed to the idea of taking risks in life. Those are my views on Purva Falgani. So if you have your rising as Purva Falgani, I think you are going to be a very fun-loving person, very attractive. Some might say you're also lucky. The whole chart would have to be seen. It would also depend on which sign your first house falls in, in the Navamsha, that would be the Padha belonging to Purva Falgani. So if it's the sign of Leo, not only are you going to be very attractive, you may also possess the aura of an authority figure. If it's the sign of Virgo, think you'd also come across as someone very analytical, very intelligent. So your intelligence might be seen as very attractive. If it's the sign of Libra, you are going to be very attractive. Your physical appearance can be very symmetrical. 
And in general, your style of doing things can also be seen as very balanced. If it's the sign of Scorpio, ruled by Mars, that Ugra side linked to Purva Falcone would be more visible in your character. You'll be more risk-taking, more eager to do things in life. I'm generalizing as a lot would depend on the entire chart. But studying the planet in Purva Falcone is a great start. So let's do that. If you have moon in Purva Falcone, you have a very creative mind. You're also very eager to experience the fun side of life. A lot would depend on where Venus is, where Sun is. Venus is ruling, the Nakshatra Sun is the sign ruler. Or your mind would constantly create a desire to experience things in life. Or oh, I want to attend that music festival. Or oh, I want to play that sport. I want to try this thing. I want to try watching a foreign movie. The list of desires can be endless. You want to draw pleasure from life. And since you'd have these varied experiences, that might be behind your creativity. In relationships, you might come across as someone very loving. It's a very loving nakshatra. So you might express love in an open-hearted manner. The passion for life, which I'd mentioned earlier, would grip your thinking. You may find yourself gaining attention for your activities. Your passion for life may attract attention, may attract followers. And your expression of love may also attract a following. Moon Purva Falgani can lead to fame. That's the point I'm trying to make. Purva Falgani is linked to that and Moon is linked to royalty. And lastly, if Moon is directly linked to your career, and it finds itself in this nakshatra. Your career can be linked to childbirth specifically or can also be linked to beauty products, the cosmetics side of the healthcare sector. That's my view of Moon in this nakshatra. When Sun is in Purva Falcone, you exude an aura of a leader which is the most attractive aspect of your personality. You walk into a room and all eyes are on you and you may also be very loved by your team members. Purva Falgani is all about going by the heart and Sun is about leadership. So you're not doing those calculations that by doing this or having this person as my deputy I'll have my work more easy. You go by the heart. You find someone in your team you like, you back the person. That's your leadership style. You could find yourself working in any of the industries linked to fun and pleasure, linked to Purva Falcone, which I shared earlier. Sun is always going to be a natural signal factor of our career. And Sun Purva Falgani can also lead to a career in finance, particularly linked to stock markets. I had earlier shared the example of Warren Buffett, who has Sun in Purva Falgani. It can also lead to you being a leader in the design sector. And most importantly, you'd be seen as someone who is very well informed. Purva Falgani belongs to the caste of a Brahmin and Sun symbolizes leadership. So within the finance sector, people look up to what you are up to. Within the design sector, you are seen as someone people take inspiration from. The only downside is Sun and Venus do not share a good relationship and therefore in your personal life, particularly in love affairs, ego comes in the way. You feel your partner, he or she, isn't respecting your authority he or she is questioning your way of doing things, isn't respecting you enough. 
Sun commands respect. In public life it's great, however in Purva Falcony it doesn't do really well. Sun Purva Falcony altogether can lead to fame, just like Moon Purva Falcony. The only difference, I believe, is Sun Purva Falcony is not so great when it comes to personal life. The overall chart has to be seen, but that's my initial views on Sun Purva Falcony in isolation. Mercury in Purva Falcony leads to a creative storyteller like the one you listen to and you are listening to that on your mobile on a public transport where you burst into laughter you're watching a comedy show for example and you burst into laughter you can't control yourself that comedy performer is Mercury Purva Falgani like or you watch television news anchors who present news very interestingly or a talk show host they invite celebrities and they get into these interesting conversations like I found that you were charged by parking your car in the wrong lane. Something very interesting that immediately attracts you. Mercury Purva Falcony, please remember, is a combination and a very strong combination belonging to interesting storytellers. And if you have this combination, consider a career in advertising or media entertainment sector. Earlier I had mentioned Purva Falcony is linked to finance sector, career and financial advisory or business consultancy are all great options. You'll be very expressive in love affairs. You might communicate your feelings very well. Some people have the art of writing a letter. They express how they feel and you'll seek a relationship where you expect that to be returned to you in some ways. It's reminding me of the movie The Postman, the Italian movie. Please watch it, it's very fascinating that movie in which the person has this love for someone but the other person responded with just a single line and this person felt very sad about it. So a Mercury Purva Falgani like person would want open communication. They'd want things to be expressed freely. Mercury is known to bestow intelligence and analytical ability. And in this nakshatra, the person can become an excellent at understanding market trends. So a career in advertising, you'll intelligently understand what might work. And then you might have a plan, run this story, this is going to work. In finance, you'll understand the flow of the market. You'll advise your clients, invest in this industry, in this company, and you'll do well. So you'll have that inherent quality to understand things quickly. And with the good fortune linked to Lord Parker, and therefore Purva Falgani, the risks that you're going to take in the business sector or in the finance sector, they are likely to pay off. It's a strong combination. Moreover, Mercury shares an excellent relationship with Venus and Sun, the Nakshatra and the sign ruler, making it even more stronger. The only downside is the person's lack of appreciation for the good luck bestowed on the native. Mercury is known to carry on without thinking about the consequences. And in that state, if you are given something valuable, you are prone to lose it like a reckless investor. The investor feels, okay, I have made 10x. Let me invest again and perhaps I can get 100x from my investment. So you keep shifting the goalpost and you keep taking steps 
without thinking about consequences. So this is a combination where you'll push your luck and you might do things which are unnecessary. You might take risks which were not required. That's the downside. If you have Venus in Vulva Falgani, you're going to have a very attractive personality. You're also going to be lucky, even wealthy, particularly if the chart supports that. Some people find themselves running into good luck. A property which was inherited, a job at the end of a challenging masters, everyone's sitting for placements. There are only a handful of people who get a job which is highly paying. A Venus Bull or Falcony like person can be at the receiving end of such opportunities. You're naturally going to be very creative. I had shared the examples of Louis Armstrong and JK Rowling, both of them in a creative career. Your creativity is going to be one of your strongest assets. And in love affairs, you're going to be a very loving person. Romance, I think, was invented by someone who might have had Venus in Vulva Falcony. So everything from writing letters to expression of love freely, not only to the one who you are dating, but expressing love in some manner in the society. Venus Pulva Falgani leads to expression of love in abundance. And therefore you'd also seek a partner who is as loving or is responding to your expression of love. Venus signifies money. Venus Pulva Falgani can directly link one's career to the finance sector, particularly to the speculative side as speculation leads to excitement. You don't know what's the future. You invest in a startup, you don't know what's the future. It might be that the startup raises money from a bigger player and you get a huge payoff from your investment. A prime example, Massa UC Song. He has made his money like this, investing in startups, upcoming startups. So building a fortune based on your understanding of the market, we must not forget Venus signifies the caste of a Brahmin and so does this nakshatra as Venus essentially is the planetary form of Lord Shukracharya. So whatever you do, you'll be very well informed and most importantly, very lucky. The only downside to having Venus in Vulva Falgani is the endless list of desires one might have. Seeking pleasure from life is what Vulva Falgani is all about and Venus also signifies that. Venus is also about going after things of the world. The Rajasic side of Vulva Falgani would be seen most strongly when Venus is there. So somewhere you'll begin to see that all I am doing is for gratification of the senses. And that is a major downside to having Venus in Vulva Falgani. You must look at life also more philosophically. When Mars is in Vulva Falgani, you are going to be very driven, very motivated, to draw pleasure from life. So whilst this can be a bad thing that you are running after things of the world, the Rajasic side of this nakshatra and the Ugra side of this nakshatra would be more prominent. Having said that, you can achieve extraordinary things. Here, you might combine your technical and engineering skills with creativity so anything from designing a toy meant for children, even for adults, to something as complicated as designing a laptop can be traced back to Mars Purva Falgani's energy. Mars is very entrepreneurial. 
And in this nakshatra, the person can be an innovator of some kind. Mars also does not shy away from taking risks. And in this nakshatra, the person is met with good fortune. The person then begins to stretch one's good luck. Like stories of investors in stock markets who had a great run, they stretched their luck. They tried again, tried again, tried again, and the fifth time they failed on, on a large scale. So a Mars Purva Falgini like person can stretch their luck. In love affairs, the person is going to be very passionate, very driven by the senses. In some cases, this can lead to lust overtaking love. I would classify this combination as having Mars in the house of marriage. And therefore, it might be a good idea to marry close to the age of 30 when Mars begins to mature. I have, through far, far away, met someone who had Mars in Purva Falgani, if I remember correctly, and he was working on the engineering side, designing fun rides that we see in festivals, those giant wheels or a giant boat. He was designing such machines. This is another great example of how engineering skills here are combined with fun. You could also find yourself being excellent at graphic design. If you ever used Photoshop, it's highly technical. It took me many years to actually figure things out. Mars Purva Falgani can lead to such careers, being an expert in Photoshop or Illustrator. The major downside to having this position is the person continues to chase pleasure in life. And somewhere the person might feel unhappy, even after achieving what the person was running after. As they say, desires are endless, the native might experience that. Jupiter in Purva Falgani now highlights the Brahman caste of Purva Falgani. The knowledge-backed creativity, the knowledge-backed activities linked to Purva Falgani would now be highlighted. So within the creative sector, the person can be an art director. Within finance, the person can be a financial advisor, using one's knowledge and experience to guide others. And in romance, the person can end up being a teacher, a guide, not only to one's partner, but also to one's friends and family. Some people say, when I seek advice in my relationship, I meet this person. I always contact this person. That person is Jupiter Purva Falgani. The person may inherently understand the dynamic involved in love affairs specifically. The other interesting thing having this position is Jupiter signifies growth opportunities and this nakshatra represents good luck. Together, this leads to many opportunities. The person kept running into an opportunity to travel. The person was lucky to have gotten oneself admitted in a Ivy League university. The person was lucky to be promoted. The person was lucky to have been given this hike in salary. So growth in your personal and professional life is met with good luck. This altogether is a strong position. The only downside to having this position is the person may always find oneself conflicted. Jupiter is directly linked to having a more philosophical view on life, which is moving away from the materialistic side, whereas Purva Falgani is all about having fun and pleasure on a material plane. So the person may have this conflict the person may feel, okay, I'm going on this holiday, but I'm really, really not sure what I stand to gain from it. 
yes, I'm investing money in stock markets and I'm making money, but what is the purpose of life? Such questions may be part of your thinking if you have this position where you compare materialism with true happiness. Saturn in Purva Falcony is actually an interesting position as two opposites are coming together. I had mentioned Purva Falcony is all about fun and pleasure, whereas Saturn is not about that at all. Saturn is about taking things very seriously. Like people say on dating profiles, I want a partner who doesn't take life seriously. So they are referring to, to a poor falcony like person they'd like to be with, someone who's fun, someone who's easygoing, not serious, whereas Saturn takes life, every decision seriously. So here, the person's pleasures of life can be uneasy, like climbing the mountain whilst you're climbing, every step is challenging. But when you reach the top, that is when you experience the sense of pleasure. So you have worked towards having a sense of pleasure. So you've climbed for several hours for that moment of happiness. Such happiness, in my view, such happiness drawn, such pleasure drawn, is directly linked to Saturn Purva Falcony. Now this can be applied to other aspects of life. You enjoy having to toil for a position. I worked and worked and worked and finally I have been made a senior manager. I worked and worked and worked, I applied, worked hard on my application and finally I'm getting to travel. I searched and searched and searched and finally I have found a life partner who I think is right for me. So Saturn Purva Falcony is combining the hard work, the perseverance with fun. These are examples hopefully that are helpful in you understanding what Saturn Purva Falcony is about. In love affairs the person is going to be an effort maker, like the person is willing to come and meet you at your neighbourhood, the person is making an effort to make arrangements, the person is making sure that you are reaching back home comfortably. Saturn Purva Falcony I classify as the same as having Saturn in the fifth house. The person takes life seriously when it comes to love life. Within the arts industry, the person can make an excellent editor. Like this video I'm shooting, I'm doing it spontaneously, but later I'll be sitting on it and editing it. The editing would take me much longer than shooting it. The editing process where you filter through is a very Saturn related activity. Saturn Purva Falcony can make an excellent editor and a master at it. Within the finance sector, the person can make an excellent risk manager. You're putting on the brakes. Mars Purva Falcony is going to stretch the limit. Invest everything and see what happens. Whereas Saturn Purva Falcony is going to apply the brakes. Let's invest only 10%. Or 20%, let's leave 80% invested safely. Risk managers are directly linked to Saturn in Purva Falcony, in my view. And in my experience of reading charts, I have met people having Saturn Purva Falcony working on the risk side of finance. Altogether, I find Saturn Purva Falcony to be a very strong position as things now are in balance. The person is no longer very vain, no longer very fierce, very ogre, unnecessarily passionate. The person is also not very conservative as well, which is Saturn linked. So it's a great balance, Saturn Purva Falcony. There's fun, but there's caution. That's how I'd summarize Saturn in Purva Falcony. Rahu Purva Falcony can lead to a long list of desires. The person wants to experience many different things and the person also wants to make a name for oneself. 
the person would be attracted to people who are foreign to oneself, like people say, I'd like to date someone from that country, as I really like the way they speak, or I really like their food. The person may take unnecessary risks in life. And this is a combination where the person must not stretch their luck, particularly in stock markets or gambling, where they don't know where to apply the brakes. The person will give in to desire so much where you don't know how much are you putting on stake. So Rahu Purva Falgani together can lead to the person driven exclusively by desire. And therefore this is not an easy position. I'd classify Rahu Purva Falgani similar to having Rahu in the seventh house and therefore in love affairs or in relationships in one's personal life the person would remain very undecided. So the person would need to experience romance before settling down. The major issue the person is going to face is the illusion the person might have of happiness. Oh, if I travel to that island, or if I go to that festival, or if I get that job, or if I make this much money, I'll be happy. That delusion is going to grip the native. Right and proper guidance would be very important if you have Rahu in Purva Falcone. On the bright side, Rahu, like Jupiter in some ways, can present opportunities for you to experience life. So I think having Rahu Purva Falcone would not lead to any shortage of opportunities to experience life the only thing you need to keep in mind is excess of everything is going to be bad and that you'll have to learn from life. The other thing I'd like to add with this combination is that you can end up being an unconventional influencer of some kind. Like you invest money in stock markets, you suddenly get a windfall gain and then you start attracting a following to your style of investing, which eventually fails and that leads to a sudden downfall. So Rahu Purva Falgani can lead to windfall gains, but also massive downfalls, both in terms of money, but also in terms of your public image. So it's a difficult position on multiple aspects. When Ketu is in Purva Falgani, the Rajasic, the materialistic side of this nakshatra is going to be very controlled. It's actually the two opposites. Purva Falgani is all about being in the limelight, attracting fame, whereas Ketu is known to not have a self-identity. So it's a case where the person is popular, but is still unknown, like ghost writers. They write wonderfully, they become very popular, their writings become popular, but their true identity remains hidden. So people working behind the scenes, essentially, I'd say have Ketu in Purva Falcone. Ketu is known to have that piercing logic, that intuitive ability, and therefore the native might understand there's no point running after things of the world. With Ketu Purva Falgani, the person may feel not drawn to the materialistic fun and pleasure side of Purva Falgani at all. The person may withdraw oneself from such pleasures. And even in love affairs, the person might not be as engaged. I'll classify having Ketu in Purva Falcone as the same as having Ketu in the fifth or even the seventh house. The person may remain detached. The major upside to having this position is the person's intuitive and logical skills can make oneself excellent at understanding market trends, whether it's in advertising, where you're trying to understand which campaign might work, or in the finance sector, where you are investing money Ketu Furva Falgani individuals can make the best investment bankers or stock market traders in my view. Altogether, I find Ketu Furva Falgani to be a stronger position than Rahu Furva Falgani. One major downside is 
that the person can become prone to addictions. As a Ketu-like person likes to spend time in isolation and hear Purva Falconis about fun and pleasure. Fun and pleasure behind closed doors. So that might be the only major downside. Hello. Thank you for watching this video till the very end. If you have any questions, please post your comments. And if you'd like to stay in touch, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.